Because Jesus rose from the dead, I have hope for the future. How many of you identify with that? Because Jesus rose from the dead, got hope for the future. Because Jesus rose from the dead, death does not have the final say anymore. How many of you could identify with this? I've been rescued from darkness. The next one. I'm no longer enslaved because Jesus rose from the dead. Right? That's all right to get excited. I've experienced freedom from addiction because Jesus has risen from the dead. This is huge. Some can really identify with this. Because Jesus rose from the dead, I have faith in my mind, in my heart, in my body that's in Jesus, and it's taken the place of unbelief. I'm no longer defined by anxiety or depression because Jesus is risen. Shame no longer defines me. No longer have to carry shame because Jesus is risen from the dead. Because of the resurrection, I have value and purpose. Right? How many of you, that's true of you? Because of the power of the resurrection, I have a new identity in Jesus. Old things are passed away. All things have become new. This is so important for everybody as you're sitting like next to a bunch of people just to remember because of the resurrection, you are no longer alone. And not just, and not just that, the last one, because of the resurrection, I'm part of a community of hope. There's an invitation to not, be, not only be free from being alone, but to have a sense of the nearness of God that you can be a part of a community of hope. That's what we're called to be. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different this morning. I'm gonna invite at least one person per sign who would say, that's me, to come up here on the stage and hold, this, hold the sign up. Some of you, you have never done anything like this. You're like, I don't even know why I'm here this morning, except I heard they have food trucks. And <laughs> it's like today, you, and, and some of you are going, that's, I'm not, that's, I'm not totally there yet. Like, faith in place of unbelief, but I want that to be true. That's my prayer. I'm going to hold that one up today. Are you, uh, do we have reason to be thankful this morning on this Easter Sunday? <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask everybody out there, I'm going to ask you to stand up. I want to pray blessing over these guys. Jesus, we pray for your blessing on each person up here this morning. We pray you'd fill them with your spirit. Lord, those that this is their prayer request, we pray that you'd answer their prayer. Lord, those that are just letting everybody know, the whole world know that Jesus, you've risen from the dead. And because of that, this is true in my life. We pray, Lord, you would bless them. I pray just for joy for each one. And I pray that, uh, Lord, you just release celebration in our hearts over your greatness and your victory that death has been swallowed up in victory. In Jesus' name. All right. Everybody give them a hand and thank the Lord. Bless you guys.